So I spent over a hundred thousand dollars getting a master's degree in software engineering from Carnegie Mellon University. And in this video, I'm gonna show you every single course I ever took and how I almost got kicked out of the program. So when I graduated, CMU sent me this. Wait a second, where is it? it should be right here. Yep, here it is. It's this huge degree certificate. And believe it or not, this is the second time I'm taking it out of its packaging. So in my first semester, which was spring 2022, I took five classes, foundations of software engineering, software verification and testing, secure software systems, decision analysis and engineering economics, and intro to grad studies. So I only needed three classes to be full-time. That's the recommended course load. But I was super overconfident in myself and I was taking four plus classes in hopes that if I take more classes per semester, then I can graduate in 12 months instead of 18 months and save over $35,000 in tuition, books, and other expenses. But let's just say it did not work out that way. I got a B minus in foundations of software engineering. I got a C in software verification and testing. I got a C minus in secure software systems, which is basically how to write secure code um, taught in C. And I hate C as a programming language and I got a C, so no pun intended. And I got a C minus in decision analysis. And this is the one that got to me the most because the passing grade at CMU is at least a C. But my final grade for decision analysis was 69.31%. And I needed 70% to get a C. So I kind of missed a C by 0.69%. And I tried so hard to get my professor to give me that 0.69% and he did it. I submitted a grade dispute request to appeal the grade. I requested additional review of all of my exams to see if we could find some technical way to squeeze in that 0.69%. But he came back and said, Michael, I looked through all of your exams and couldn't find any mistakes on my end that could get your passing grade. So the funny thing is there was this one assignment that was weighted at 0.5%, which was a team evaluation. So, you know, after a group project, you get to survey or review your team members and say, hey, um, how good was this person in the team? How much did they contribute on a scale of one to five? Something like that. Yeah, that one. I got it after the exam and I did not do it. So I was so tired and upset with the course after the final exam that I couldn't do a five minute team evaluation survey which could have bumped my grade up to a 69.81%, which could have been rounded up to 70%, and that would have been a C, and I would have passed that course. So my GPA for that semester ended up being a 2.0. I know that sounds really bad, but here's the thing. I graduated with almost a 4.0 in undergrad, and that did not help my professional life in any way. My boss at AWS did not care about my GPA, and I'm pretty sure I could have gotten the same job with a 3.5 GPA instead of a 4.0 GPA. So I took a class over the summer to improve my GPA. I took a very easy marketing class and got an A, which bumped up my GPA slightly. I thought everything was fine, but then I received this email with the subject academic probation. And it said, because of your performance in the spring 2022 semester, you are on probation this semester as per the department's procedure. So I had just been put on what's known as academic probation, which meant that I had two semesters to raise my GPA to at least a 3.0 or I'll get kicked out of the program. And I have not revealed this to anyone. So if you're watching, hi mom. So now I'm on academic probation. I could get kicked out of the program, but then in my next semester, fall 2022, again, I took uh, an overloaded schedule. I took four classes, uh, which was one more than the recommended course load. And um, let's just say I am very persistent. I still wanted to graduate in 12 months, so I took more classes. This semester, I took uh, software design and architecture, uh, which was about design patterns and stuff. I really liked that class and uh, got a B minus. I took data science for software engineering. I also liked that class, super cool professor the best professor arguably in my program, and I got a B. And then I took product definition and validation, which was sort of like a product management slash startup course. Um, it teaches you how to get and validate product ideas. Very kind professor, great class. I got an A. 
And then I took entrepreneurship and innovation. Another amazing startup class, great professor, also got an A. This semester, I got a really good GPA. I got a 3.42 GPA. And if you notice, half of my courses were coding classes and the other half um, were business classes, mainly entrepreneurship and um, startup courses. Every single business course that I ever took at CMU, I got an A. So if you're thinking whether business is harder than coding, you, you got your answer. I think coding is way harder than business. At this point, I've been doing the course for about 12 months. And even though I got a 3.42 GPA this semester and taken enough classes, um, I think uh, I needed about eight or nine classes to graduate, which I had taken about that number of classes, but I still couldn't graduate because catch this, my overall GPA, um, what's called accumulated GPA, was 2.85 and you need at least a 3.0 to graduate. So I had to do one more semester and spend $35,000 more in tuition and other expenses. And this was my final chance. If I don't raise my cumulative GPA to at least a 3.0, I would be kicked out of my master's. So the next semester, spring 2023, I took just three classes. I didn't take too many classes because I had, you know, just started my current startup and we had thousands of users and growing, so I was super busy with work. And this time I took Intro to Machine Learning because I wanted to learn more about AI. My company is an AI startup. And I took Software Refactoring, basically teaching um, best practices and methods to refactor code and write clean code, pretty much. And I also took Enterprise Innovation. I mainly took this course because I want to sell my company to huge enterprises, and this course was a good way to learn about that ecosystem. I ended up dropping out of my machine learning class because I frankly wasn't learning anything new in that class. I knew everything that was being taught in that class. Seriously, everything. I got a B- in software factoring. Uh, there's just something about me getting B- minuses in my coding classes, I don't know. And then I got an A- minus in my um, enterprise innovation class. I could have gotten an A, but I was so busy at my company that I submitted almost all of the assignments late and took a 10% late penalty. In the end, I got a 3.17 GPA, which was enough to get me out of probation and also get me this piece of paper right here. My um, grades are not the best, but grades were not my goal at CMU. You know, when I quit AWS to attend CMU, I basically made a video where I said, my goal was to network and meet awesome people and start a company. And my entire time at CMU, I was taking more than the full-time course load while working 60 plus hours per week on startup ideas. I tried four startup ideas while at CMU. One of them ultimately took off that I'm currently building. Um, I also got interviewed by Y Combinator twice and Neo. I did not get into Y Combinator, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Um, and those were the two, still are the two top startup accelerators in Silicon Valley. And uh, Carnegie Mellon actually funded my current startup so if you take anything away from this video, it's that grades don't mean shit.